Hello and welcome. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a new meteorite that I have in my inventory called Coffeeville, Kansas. It's an H5 chondrite and pretty ordinary as far as meteorites go, although I'll try to get a little bit of a, of a the metal reflecting. You can kind of see the metal uh, going on here. So it's got some nice metal to it, uh, some nice texture, a little bit of weathering, which adds a little bit of color. The backside has not been polished. You can see some of the, the different texture in it, sometimes even a little better on the unpolished side of things. About five millimeters uh, thick, a nice little part slice as far as meteorite uh, hunters go. Uh, meteorite uh, collectors go, I should say. Uh, but what, what's really fascinating about this particular meteorite is the landowners had found this meteorite um, several years ago, and then they saw Jeff and I on television. And um, we were, you know, doing our thing on TV, and they thought, hey, that rock we found might be a meteorite. So they got a hold of Jeff, sent in a piece, and sure enough, the rock turned out to be a real meteorite. So we made a deal with them that we would broker it on their behalf and uh, decided to price it a little bit cheap on the cheaper side, uh, just for the sake of, just so it'll move a little quicker. And uh, so uh, this meteorite is priced at, uh, for the big full slices or $1.80 a gram. In the smaller slices, they, they tend to be more expensive uh, because there's uh, the cutting that has to take place, the labor, the saw losses that are involved. Um, selling, it takes just as much time to sell a little 20 gram meteorite like this as it does a full, say 500 gram full slice. So um, it ends up, there needs to be a little compensation. So the big ones are about $1.80 a gram and uh, Smaller slices are $2.50 a gram. So this is a 20 gram meteorite, so it's $50 for this slice. Um, I have some part slices of this all the way down to under $10 a gram. So uh, there's not an excuse on, on if you uh, you know can't afford it. Um, it's just whether or not you, you like this meteorite or if you'd prefer to find something else. I do like to recommend to people that when they start collecting, that they collect meteorites that um, start out kind of small and a little bit careful for a couple reasons. Um, different people's interests will pull them in different directions as, as they start collecting. And if they put too much money into something and then they decide, you know, I don't want to go that direction, I want to go another, um, it, it, can, it can hold them back. But it's a good idea to get started and not have to stop and just really think about it like it's a major decision. Also, um, if you have to ever liquidate assets because financial times get tough, if you've got five hundred or a thousand or five thousand dollars into your first meteorite, you might be tempted to sell it, and it would be a real shame. So if you start out something ten, twenty, thirty bucks, um, you know, even going to bankruptcy court, you probably get a hold on to your favorite meteorite because it's hardly worth the effort to try to liquidate it. So. The memories are there. The stories are there. This one's got a great little story. Uh, television uh, pulled this out of obscurity and brought it to science. Uh, scientific institutions already have some pieces. There's already been some research done on it. And uh, now it's the collector's turn. So if you'd like to buy one, uh, this this one's available for you. And uh, anybody that wants it, I have them listed over on my uh, uh, Facebook fan page. So the Steve Arnold Meteorites page, you can go over there and look at some photos of this if you're interested. And um, if you're not, that's you've learned a little bit about why meteorites are priced um, the way they are. And uh, hopefully you've learned something. Uh, have a great day.